take a look at this uh, video here we've got. Uh, this is a Treadstone 71 Beacon series on defining intelligence. We're going to talk about data information intelligence today. This is the first of a series we're going to talk about as we're trying to, to educate the market on what uh, cyber intelligence actually is and what it isn't. And we found that there's just a lot of uh, miscommunication out there in the marketplace. Many of it's uh, driven by, by some of the vendors who are, are calling things uh, intelligence when it actually is not. So uh, that's driving uh, Treadstone 71, myself here, to actually come out with a series of videos that's going to actually try and lead the marketplace here into some defining areas and to qualify this based on some standards and definitions. So our first one today, again, is data information intelligence and a little discussion on the four major types of intelligence that we have out there. Well, great. When it, uh, when it comes to data information and intelligence, we really need to define these clearly because they've been misdefined in the marketplace today. Many times we call the feeds coming in as threat intelligence feeds, when in most cases it is nothing more than just data. So data is usually something that is static in nature. Uh, it may represent a set of discrete facts about an event, an activity, or thing, and it's, uh, it's definitely a prerequisite to information. We need to decide on the nature and volume of data that is required for creating and, and uh, what is uh, necessary to actually move to information. But data needs to be normalized and it should be relevant and usable and comes in a lot of various formats. Information in this case, uh, study the data to create information is what we should be doing as, uh, as analysts in this case. Usually it has some meaning and purpose and it's, uh, it's produced when the series of data points uh, are combined to answer a simple question and it does not drive a specific action. It's not actionable. Information is not. That's when we move on to intelligence. Intelligence, in, in, when we reduce it to its simplest terms, uh, is knowledge and foreknowledge of the world around us and the prelude to uh, decision and action by organizational stakeholders. So there is a process to get to this. So understand what data is as compared to information as we're struggling to move this into something that is actionable that can be used by decision makers and stakeholders in your leadership. And that, in fact, is what we're after. And it's called intelligence. Now, when it comes to um, types of intelligence in the cyber intelligence arena, uh, well, we'll keep it at a very high level and talk about strategic, operational, tactical, and technical. We divide it into four because it truly makes sense to make that type of segmentation. Many in the marketplace uh, call it just strategic, operational, and technical, or strategic, operational, and tactical, and they're missing some key nuances and components here that should be uh, mentioned and discussed, and it should be clarified. So from a strategic intelligence perspective, we're really talking about you know, high-level information consumed at the board level or by other stakeholders in the organization, decision makers, uh, even CSO or others out there, even uh, the head of your uh, incident response organization. So this is the type of information that can help make decisions. From an operational perspective, we look at information that uh, is really uh, you're, you're under an impending attack or about to be under an impending attack or you, it's imminent in this case, or you're under attack uh, uh, at the time of, of uh, this type of activity. So operational intelligence is information about in progress or impending attacks against your organization, and it's initially consumed usually by higher level security staff, such as security managers, heads of incident response, or within your security operations center. Now the next section comes to tactical intelligence, and this really deals with your adversaries and their tactics, techniques, and procedures, your TTPs, and their methods. And it's uh, information about how adversaries are conducting their, their attacks. It can include campaign information uh, and, and information about who they are and how they're organized. Then we take it down to the technical intelligence where we really get to information that is more often data that is normalized, uh, consumed through technical means. It can be your indicators of compromise and a lot of your threat intelligence platforms focus mostly on these areas, although many of them also allow the capabilities to enter information and or pre-populate with adversary type information of your TTT, TTPs. But most indicators of compromise is really your technical intelligence your IPs, your hashtags, and so on, the information you use for sightings in your environment. So let's keep this clear from these four different areas. It makes sense to segment them, and this is the definition of your strategic, operational, your tactical, and your technical types of intelligence in cyber intelligence. So again, uh, thanks for uh, 
attending today, and we just wanted to cover those quickly for you. We'll be having a series of these. Again, the Treadstone 71 Beacon series on defining intelligence and our first topics today on data information and intelligence and the four major types. Notice, too, is that the link below, you'll get a little more information as to on these definitions and some other clarity. So follow that link for data, and you'll have a little take home on this as well. In addition, um, you'll see email address below if you'd like. If you have any suggestions on additional topics you'd like to hear that are in the four to six minute range or so, let us know, and we'll see if we can uh, create something of that type for you. Thank you very much again. This is Jeff Barden, Chief Intel Officer, Treadstone 71.